all right so this is a video kind of of all the modifications i have to my car uh, at this point 2015 dodge challenger srt 392 um, sorry for the wind ahead of time it is a windy day today and uh, today's the only day i've been able to make time to do this so it is what it is um so kind of just going over everything i've done you know what products are on it uh, to this point and then kind of where i plan on going with it so start with the outside here and then we'll work our way to the engine and the ex uh, interior sorry so as you can see at the front i have a hellcat front end uh, i did the conversion i think a year ago or so um had it painted at armando's auto body here in santa maria did a great job color match and assembly so turned out really nice and then i got the halos here um they're the rgb style but i also have the color flow in inside the lens as well as well as the demon eye so a uh, whole, whole lot of lighting and headlights for me i'm not a huge fan of the lighting stuff that's why it's kind of i haven't gone all in on lighting um so that's kind of just minimal for me uh, so that's the front end stuff i have the whole top of the car wrapped in satin black i believe it's avery okay and then the whole car is actually ceramic coated um, by my uh, detailing product sponsor arrow things i got a pretty good discount code if you're interested in trying some of their stuff out just send me a dm and i can tell you what it is but the car is uh paint paint corrected with their products as well as ceramic coated with their product i got 20 by 10 up front 20 by 11 in the back and these are variant uh, alloy wheels um, i got a good discount for them as well uh, put, I'll try to put that in the description. I think it's like 20 or 25 percent. They got a whole line of uh, single piece, uh, two piece, and three piece wheels. So be sure to check out their styles. They got a whole lot of stuff. Um, and then I went ahead and color matched the uh, red Brembos, made those green with uh, G2, uh, the G2 paint kit. Uh, advice on that: don't use the brush pay a little bit more and get their sprayer I did the sprayer on these and they turned out really clean I tried the brush at first just to see what it looked like and it was it didn't go well so just uh, my tip on that all the side markers I had those blacked out Lux Auto Concepts um, the tail light tail lights in the middle as well my wicker is downforce solutions and I had that custom made say supercharged 392 on it I got the glass skins helion rear lovers and uh, that's in satin black they do a bunch of custom finishes mine's satin black I like to look a lot it's not overly aggressive from the sides but you definitely know it's there plus it's different from the more generic ones that are out there right now and uh, that's from glass skins and I do have a dis uh, discount code for them as well. So check the description if you're interested in that. I think it's 10, 10 maybe 15% off for those. Um, and that's basically just 3M taped all the way around. So you're not actually drilling nothing into your car. Um, in case you're worried about that. Uh, the ground kit is all KNG wraps. You can find them as well on Instagram. Um, I used to have, what would I have before? I don't remember the name. I had another ground kit before and I changed it because it wasn't as aggressive anymore to me as I'd like. Uh, you know, I try to mix up looks and stuff. And I added the, the green edging all along the bottoms. Kind of just help it pop out a little bit more. It's got really nice, really nice edging. The material is like a, a wind. It's like an aluminum. So really solid. Um, installing it not so fun uh, and then the rods carbon fiber and I think that's it for the outside under the hood under the hood is the Whipple uh, supercharger right kind of tells you right there but um, I've since added I got the car with the supercharger um, I it came with the Whipple and it came with the Hellcat short block the story on that, basically, um, the old 392 block 
took a ship um, in tuning and uh, the old owner had to basically pay for a new block so they went with the Hellcat short block and everything else is 392 I think I'm pushing like maybe 10 pounds right now um, so uh, I did have problems with uh, the balancer breaking loose a while back down there so I did upgrade that to an ATI 6% overdrive so before the car was doing 600 600 horsepower to the wheels on a dyno so I'm kind of working through that right now trying to figure out who I should start tuning with uh, dyno tuning with so uh, that's coming later later so on top of that um, you know this carb legal kit so I got the carb legal sticker a Whipple intake um, JLT coolant cover 3G customs back there I do have a hood prop and trunk prop as well for 3G customs I don't have those with me um, the uh, crankcase breather custom strut bar it says bad 392 on it which is what my license plate say as well that's kind of why I, um, I went with that on the strut bars because I was able to get the bad 392 for the uh, license plates so um, and then just you know random decals so the trunk is pretty simple I just got a um, you know the tank and then the two compressors uh, another detail made by AA designs there sorry about the wind uh, my aero detailing products bags got the green one there and gray one there uh, and then they got a, like I said they got a whole bunch of stuff make sure you check them out that's my license plate for the front I just took it off that's on a uh, quick release stone show so I'm just keeping that there until we're done so moving on interior part of the car I just got you know some simple carbon fiber stuff I was trying to cover up most of the silver um, here trying to keep some of the wind out of here so the car i did recently have um this interior sorry this interior uh paneling done Shut up. so i had all this done in carbon fiber with sublime edging and this was done by creative customs and then there's my controller for my my bags right so that turned out really nice um, I had them do this stuff in supply carbon fiber, which I'm still up in the air about. I might change that to just normal carbon fiber. It's kind of different to my eyes. So I had them do it here as well, here, and then the shifters are sub just sublime. I chose to go this route because I like my heated steering wheel, so I didn't want to sacrifice that for a custom carbon fiber one. So that's why I have it like that. Um, and then I have this being ordered right now with the SRT to kind of match the rest of the look. Over here, I have the uh, Cypher. They're five point harnesses, but I took the, the lap one or this middle one out. I'm just using the four. So I just got those. And then um, I got the Cypher harness bar right now as well. Attached down here for the lap belt, right? So, um, and then the rear part of the car, I normally do have my back seat and all the paneling in here. I just have it out for right now because uh, the car came with red seat belts and I'm trading somebody for black ones. I do like my seats. I didn't want to get rid of them for racing seats, but you know what? I might be getting rid of them for racing seats. So that that that's probably coming soon, actually. Oh, and there are my gauges. So I have the uh, Speed Logix gauge pod. Which has got a nice fabric on it. It's supposed to look pretty OEM, which it does. Um, and then for the fuel as well as the boost. So um, that's kind of the summary of the car. Actually, I, there might be some little stuff I'm forgetting, but that's, that's overall what I have going on. So there's still more stuff to come on the car. I do plan on doing quite a bit more to the car. And with everything I've already done to the car, to be honest, I've been debating if I should post about it because people, you know, ask me questions about it. And I do a lot of the stuff myself. Like I did the KNG ground kit. I did the uh, crankshaft uh, balancer. I pinned the crank because it was, oh, that was another thing. The, the crank wasn't pinned before. So I was actually probably losing out on some boost when they did that dyno with the previous owner. So um, I did that myself as well. I removed these panelings 
and had them shipped off for the work to be done. You know, I did the install the gauges. Um, I did the downforce solutions on the trunk lid. So I've done quite a bit of the stuff myself just because I have, you know, trust issues with some shops. Uh, they've kind of burned me and I don't know. I, I like to kind of do it all myself if I can. So let me know if you would be interested in seeing stuff like that and I can make videos on stuff like that because, you know, no big deal to record it. I do some of it on Instagram, so if you check out my IG, you might see some of it there. But anyway, that's pretty much it for the car. I do plan on doing the wide body. Probably not the OEM wide body. I'm thinking of going different because the OEM one's kind of everywhere now. Um, and then Variant's going to be doing me a solid on some, some wide-ass three-piece wheels. So, more stuff coming, and then I can always do a video on the cutting process on this if anybody cares. So... That's about it, let me know.